Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jerry Walwack and I'm glad you made it. So today, I'm not going to be playing for you, but I am going to be talking guitar. Yes, uh, always it's always about guitar here. Some of you might be familiar with a place up in Manchester, right outside of St. Louis. See, that's a suburb of St. Louis, and it's called Eddie's Guitars. That is where I bought this beauty. This is a heritage. Uh, this was uh, one of the first uh, guitars that I bought that was like a, a high-end guitar. Uh, when I went shopping for this guitar, I was actually looking for a Gibson Les Paul. I've always wanted a Gibson Les Paul. Never did have one, never had the uh, money, never could justify the money. And finally, one day, I wanted to treat myself. I can't remember if it was a birthday or what it was, but it's like, hey, we're going to get one. So we went shopping for a 58 Les Paul and went to Eddie's. I'm telling you all a bunch of story about this guitar, and this is this video is not even about this guitar. Went to Eddie's and tried some Les Pauls. And the guys at Eddie's says, wait a minute, before you buy that, you need to try a Heritage. So I picked this up, and the guy literally stood there holding one guitar, trading them back and forth while I while I played. And sonically, I could not tell a single difference between this and a a Gibson. Uh, the price was half, was literally half. Um, sounded, they felt the same. The necks felt very similar, if not the same. Just amazing. Plus, to be honest, I actually love the way this looks. It's got some little bit of spalting in it, little bitty uh, uh, mineral, not spalting, but mineral, they might, I don't know, they might call mineral streaks spalting, but anyway, some mineral streaks in it. Love it. Love the color of this guitar. All that to say, Eddie's is a great place in St. Louis to shop uh, for high-end guitars. They've got some amazing stuff. I'm on their mailing list. And so a couple couple days ago, uh, sometime last week or maybe this weekend, I got an email. And uh, they're always telling you what's new in stock. And this particular guitar caught my eye. Very beautiful guitar. The wood on it is a uh, kind of burl maple or I think it's some maple anyway it's burl and um, so it looks kind of like this this is not that guitar by the way but this guitar has the same type of wood uh, a similar type of wood it's got this spalting spalted top on it so I saw that and I thought man this is a beautiful guitar one of two problems arose real quick the first one was the price $13,995, yes. I've seen Paul Reed Smith's for that much money before, but that wasn't the only thing that caught my eye. The thing that really caught my eye, and the reason I'm doing this video, is there was a hole in it. Yes, there was wood actually missing from the guitar. It had that spalted look. Yes, here it is. Look at this. Spalted wood. It's a Paul Reed Smith private stock McCarty 594 Buckeye Burl Black Limba. Beautiful guitar. Right there on the forearm is a huge chunk of wood missing. Right where your arm would be resting when you're playing the guitar. I got to believe that's going to hurt or at least be uncomfortable. I'm sure they sanded it smooth, but still it's going to be uncomfortable right there. So I could see that being kind of a cool gimmick on a lesser expensive guitar. But for a $14,000 guitar, it just seems a little crazy. Who knows? Somebody might love that. If I had the money to throw away, I might love that. But uh, that, that is definitely a unique instrument. 
So let me know what you think. If you won the lottery, is that the first guitar you're going to go out and buy? Or would you pass? Hey, give me a like on the video. And as always, subscribe. Love to see more subscribers. We've got more content coming all the time. Looking forward to the next time. And God bless.